Welcome to Ready Set RC, and today, guys, we have something new to the channel the LC Racing EMB. This is a 114th scale Truggy. It is ready to run. It has aluminum big bore shocks, aluminum chassis, aluminum shock tower. It will require four double A's for the transmitter. It does come with a nickel metal hydride battery for the RC, metal gear differentials, and a four pole 2850 brushless motor. Also comes with a digital servo, an aluminum sensor drive shaft, waterproof electronics. Actually, it, it is programmable by the Hobby Wing program card. Uh, servo saver, a 4500 kV brushless motor, ball bearings throughout, a 2.4 gigahertz uh, radio system in this. But let's get the EMBT out of the box and see what it's all about. But here we are guys with the EMBT out of the box. I think the color schemes on this really look good for a Truggy. Very sharp lines on it guys. They, this car does not come with any stickers on it. They do provide you a sticker sheet to go ahead and apply all the stickers you want. I only apply the stickers in the front that you see here today. I'm not planning on putting anything else on this. So just to talk about what comes with the RC guys, we get a wrench with some Allen keys. The instruction manual is very simple. It's just a blowout of the RC, a catalog of the LC Racing RCs, and a parts list that you got here on the rear. You get a Fly Sky controller, guys. Very simple, very straightforward. I'm not too amazed with how this thing feels in regards to the steering. It has a flip, a flip up lid and you have all the trim settings in here. So you have the reverse settings, a bind button, you have the steering trim, throttle trim, steering dual rate, on off power switch. Uh, it is a four channel controller. So you do have the third channel right here at your fingers and the fourth channel down here at the button. Really straightforward guys. It takes four double A's down here at the bottom. Uh, the only thing I'm not too amazed with with this controller is just the steering part of it. But just to go from the outside to the in, we have foam filled tires on here with an offset. This does, the tires feel super soft and plush guys. They feel really good. We want to see how this handles up to the brushless power. Fairly thin body, uh, but it is a truggy. I don't think we're going to run into any issues unless we flip onto the lid. All the screws throughout are hex screws from what I'm seeing here guys. Or just to give you guys the specifications on this RC, the length is 345 millimeters or 13.6 inches. The width is 235 millimeters or 9.3 inches. The height is 129 millimeters or 5.1 inches. The wheelbase is 225 millimeters or 8.9 inches. And the total weight is 1.1 kilograms or 2.4 pounds with the battery in. The hexes on this RC are 12 millimeter, but let's get this body off and let's see what's going on underneath. I have to say guys, the suspension on this car feels fairly plush. I really like how it feels. Not over dampened, not under dampened. It feels really good how they set this thing up. I'm seeing oil filled coil over shocks with a metal shock cap. Uh, the shock bodies are metal as well. It is screw down shocks that are on here. There are camber and toe adjustments in the front. You have CVAs in the front. Looks like dog bones in the rear. You have a center brace going on in this as well. The one thing that I mentioned before is that the ESC was not a fix proper in mine and I got to replace that with a proper tape. That's the only thing that I did not, that I did not like on this so far. You have a servo saver going on in here as well. The caster blocks are all plastic, but they feel like a pretty good compound from what I'm seeing. Uh, you have the nickel metal hydride battery already installed. It is fastened with a Velcro strap. I don't know guys, the ESC seems a little underwhelming. It's a 35 amp uh, programmable ESC. It's 2S and 3S LiPo capable. Uh, we'll have to see how that goes with it. I may want to bump that up a little bit. I am liking the, the motor that's in here. The motor is a 4,500 kV motor. I want to see how that pairs up, but I may want to bump up. I may want to bump up the ESC that's in here. There is a metal drive shaft going down the center. It is a metal chassis that's also on this, on the bottom of the chassis. You're noticing a front and a rear kick up on this. This RC is just well built guys. On the rear, you also have another metal shock tower. The shocks are also the same compound 
as in the front. You do have camber adjustments also in the rear. Altogether, this just feels like a very solid RC. And guys, another thing that you're able to adjust on this RC is you're able to adjust the droop in the front and also in the rear. But here we are guys, my Losi 8 and the LC Racing EMBT. Uh, yes, this is a low C8. I have a fat body that's on here, but really this is a low C8. That's why you're seeing the little bit of the size difference between the two. Wanted to give you guys an idea of how the LC Racing Looks compared to the low C, so you guys have a clear idea of what the two look like. This is based off of the, the eight scale low C8. Uh, it is a 114th scale scale down. You'll see that it is a little bit smaller than the LC Racing, but remember, this is a buggy, this is a truggy. So that's why there is a size difference between the two. There you get, there it goes again, guys. There's the low C8 on top of the LC Racing, just giving you guys a better view of what that looks like. And that's another angle, guys, to give you another view of the low C8 with the LC Racing, just to give you a little idea of what that looks like in regards to size. You'll see the different layouts. This low C8 is modded out. This is not what the low C8 looks like when you get it directly from low C. I don't even know if it's still available from low C, but it does not look like this. I've done a lot of modifications to this RC, so that's why it looks like this inside. But you'll see the differences between the two and get an idea of what they look like. But that's it guys, just wanted to give you a quick overview of the LC Racing EMBT so you guys get a better idea of what else there is in the market in regards to these mini scale RCs. But please like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram for our latest posts to the channel. This is Ready Set RC, signing out. Thanks again guys.